the newest essay by Chris Hedges, um, published today. There are no constraints left to halt America's slide into totalitarian capitalism. Electoral politics are a sham. The media have been debased and defanged by corporate owners. The working class has been impoverished and is now being plunged into despair. The legal system has been corrupted to serve the corporate interests. Popular institutions, from labor unions to political parties, have been destroyed or emas emasculated by the corporate power structure. And any form of protest, no matter how tepid, is blocked by an internal security apparatus that is starting to rival that of East Germany's secret police. The mounting anger and hatred coursing through the bloodstream of the body politic make violence and counterviolence inevitable. Brace yourself. The American empire is over and the descent is going to be horrifying. I'm going to post a link uh, to the entire article uh, by Mr. Hedges in the sidebar. Um, I don't necessarily uh, disagree uh, uh, with every point that he makes, but it's definitely a worthwhile read. Those singled out as internal enemies will include people of color, immigrants, gays, intellectuals, feminists, Jews, Muslims, union le leaders, and those defined as liberals. They will be condemned as anti-American and blamed for our decline. The economic collapse, which remains mysterious and enigmatic to most Americans, will be pinned by demagogues and hate mongers on these hapless scapegoats. And the random acts of violence, which were already leaping, which were already seeing leaping around the fringes, will justify harsh measures of internal control that will snuff out the final vestiges of our democracy and of our republic. The corporate forces that destroyed the country will use the information systems they control to mask their culpability. The old game of blaming the weak and the marginal, a staple of despotic regimes, will empower the dark undercurrents of sadism and violence within American society and deflect attention away from the corporate vampires that have drained the blood of the country. These are just the first two paragraphs of this essay. He quotes uh, another person as saying, um, we're going to have some huge disaster sooner or later caused by our failure to invest. Dams and bridges will break. There will be huge infrastructure disasters in the future. Our intellectual resources are in decline. We're failing to educate young people. We're going to continue to pour money into the military. And I think it is possible, I do not say it is probable, that we will have a revolution, a civil war that will see the end of the United States of America. It's hard to see how this can be prevented. The engine of social reform are dead. Liberal apologists, Hedges says, who long ago should have abandoned the Democratic Party, continue to make pathetic appeals 
to a tone-deaf corporate state and Barack Obama, while the working and middle class are ruthlessly stripped of their rights, income, and jobs. Liberals condemn imperial wars and the looting of the U.S. Treasury by Wall Street, but not the Democrats who are also responsible for this, as well as the Republicans, I might add. No one has discredited American liberalism more than liberals themselves. We've entered an age in which, as William Butler Yeats wrote, the best lack all conviction and the worst are full of passionate intensity. I think this is going to be a two-part video. Sorry, I thought I was going to be able to fit at least a few paragraphs in here, but part two coming up soon.